What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at a very special and unique dash cam from the guys over at Akio. It's a 12 inch LCD panel that records 1920 from the front, 1920 in the rear. But the unique thing is you get 360 degree recording as well. That's right, this camera right here is gonna record just about everything that happens inside of your cabin. And that makes this perfect for you rideshare drivers out there. If you leisurely drive for Uber, if you're a taxi driver, it's always important to, to kind of record what's going on in your car. You just don't want anyone acting a fool. But it's also great for you tech nerds out there as well, such as myself, that just wants to record every single thing that happens. And you also get a side camera that you can mount underneath of your side view mirror, making it perfect for those blind spots. Enough talk, let's unbox it, check it out together, and see what it's all about. A couple key specs I want to mention about the Ikeo AKY V360 ST camera. It's a premium high-end dash cam. If you didn't know by that 360 degree panoramic recording feature, this definitely is a high-end camera. So you get 1920 front recording, 1920 rear recording, and for that side camera it records at 1080. And you also get GPS, you get parking monitor, it uses Sony Starvis lenses, and you get just about every other feature you'd expect on a high-end camera, especially this really awesome 12-inch LCD panel. But let's just go ahead and unbox it and see what else is inside. So inside of the box, we get a couple, couple pamphlets here and what I'm assuming is gonna be a screen protector. I think that's pretty cool. Again, high-end high -end camera, so you get some high-end specs, some high-end accessories that come included in the box. And that side camera that I'm gonna show you in a little bit also comes in different colors. But this is the camera itself, guys. This is a 12 inch LCD mirror. And so far, it's looking pretty legit. Looks really, really nice. And here is that 360 degree camera, guys, that you can swivel 12 inches. This is definitely a large mirror. If you just want to upgrade your rear view mirror in your car, this is just a great way to do it. But of course, this 360 degree camera, that's what it's all about. But let's put this aside and see what else we get inside the box here. First thing I want to show you guys is this side camera. Now this is available in silver as well, so you get a couple color options just so that it matches the matches the color of your car. I'm really excited to see how that works out. And again, if you need to kind of give it a better view, you have this double-sided tape right there. Here's a little gasket for you guys to use. This is everything that you get in the box, including the hardwire kit. So this is going to be perfect for, for using that parking monitor. Now, whether or not these fuses are going to work for you, these look like full-size fuses. That's not going to work for my car. But in order to get the parking monitor to work, you do have to connect the hardwire kit. You just might have to buy a separate adapter there. And let's take a look. This looks like it's going to be the rear view camera. This is meant to be mounted inside of your car and it swivels. So you can get a nice clean installation and they also have one that mounts on the outside. So if you want to mount the camera outside, you can opt for that as well. Just check my link down below because there's a lot of different configurations that you can purchase this camera. And let's see what else we get in here. Cigarette lighter. And your GPS module is right over here. And then there's your long cable. This is definitely a long cable to, to plug in that rear camera, guys. So again, they really, they really thought of everything. And that's basically it. Now this does attach using using some brackets. So if you ever attach the rear a rear camera like this, it just goes ahead and attaches on your existing mirror there. And I like all of these vents. That means this is going to run super super cool. It probably has to because it's recording 360 degrees. But I got to go install all of this nice stuff. Then we're going to go for a drive. We're going to see the video quality daytime and nighttime. We're also going to hear the actual audio quality from this camera as well. So let me go ahead and install it, and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go through the settings in just a little bit, but you're going to want to hide these wires as much as you can, as, as much as you possibly can. You can put it in the headliner here. You can hide them wherever you, wherever you find a little bit of space. Now I did put the GPS module right inside of the pillar and it's still working fine. No issues with that. And to show you the side camera installation, the best way to do it really would be to take apart your door panel and find a way to funnel it, tunnel it right to your side mirror there. But I'm really not going to do that. I did it the lazy way, which is just to put it through the little gap between the door and the frame. And this is what it's going to look like. You can use that gasket to kind of make a nice, nice seamless type of installation to get it to look as OEM as possible. And that's what the side camera is going to look like, guys. You really don't see it, and it's definitely going to come in handy. But make sure just to do the job that's going to make you feel happy and whatnot. That's just my quick installation. Now the same goes for that rear camera installation. This is what it looks like when it's when it's just stuck onto your window and they do have an addition that goes on the outside right above your license plate. 
So if you prefer that installation, they do have that option as well. But I actually like these cameras on the inside because there's no drilling necessary. I'm really not into drilling into my car, but if you guys want to do that or you already have a hole, you might want to choose that outside waterproof camera. But I got the inside camera right here. If you guys want those rear lines, those parking assist lines to show up when you go in reverse, you do have to tap into your reverse lights. Again, it all depends how much work you want to do, but you really don't have to. And, and I never really did that with any of my cameras, but that's what it looks like on the inside, guys. You don't notice really that there's a camera there. Drivers behind you don't really notice that there's a camera. So I actually like those inside cameras once again. But let's go for a drive. Let's check out the settings and see what this 360 cam from my Kia is all about. Just taking a look at some of the settings. There's not too much I want to talk about, but you can increase or decrease the screen brightness. Here's your G sensor sensitivity level. I usually like to leave mine in the middle, but it has a low sensitivity level as well as a high, or you can completely turn it off. You also have the option to record voice so you can turn on or off the audio recording. You can also flip the image of the rear or the side camera there. Your screensaver will turn off the screen in either one, two minutes, or if you want to leave your video feed on at all times, turn that to off. Going to the second, second page here, that's your language options right over there. I'm going to leave mine on English. There's your time zone. You also have the HUD display so you can have your speed direction clock showing your speed only, the clock only, or you can leave that off. And then for the HUD display, either miles per hour or kilometers, and then you can factory reset and that's basically it. So just taking a look here, your HUD display will be displayed right over here. When, when you are actually driving, when you do get that nice GPS signal, you'll see that change and show you your GPS is connected. Now, the really cool thing about this camera is all of the views that you guys can do. But before I get into the views, if you wanna take a quick snapshot of something you see, just press that camera button. And if you want to save a video, if something happens and you want to ensure that it gets saved, just go ahead and press on this lock button and that's going to lock the current file. The really awesome thing about this 360 dash cam, which is right down here, which you can flip up if you just want to record what's ahead of you. So if you're just driving by yourself and you want to record the road ahead, you can go ahead and flip this camera up. So right now I have three, three views showing. I see inside the cabin, I see my side camera, and then I see the rear camera there. So you can just tap on one and that's going to enlarge it. So here's my little side camera. And I can also just use my finger to kind of change, change, the, change the view, if you will. And you can go to the, the rear camera as well. So that's my rear camera. And you can do the same thing. You can adjust that image just by swiping your finger up or down. Going into some of the other views, let's click on the third view option there. And it's going to ask you to make sure your 360 camera is, is facing inside of the cabin, just like it is right down here. But the really awesome thing is, just take a look at this, guys. Full 360 degrees, you can swipe around and get that perfect view that you want on this camera. So if you're driving with some passengers and you want to make sure you see what they're doing, you can put it right there. Of course, you can leave it to the road ahead, or you can just have it kind of showcase the back of the car. Here I am driving, and you'll be able to see the passengers behind you. You'll also be able to see your rear view camera. And then here's your third view and you can do the same exact thing. I mean, just look how cool this camera is. I am bugging out, I am teching out because this is just a really awesome camera. So you can see that 360 view. I'm just gonna do a little, little scroll just like that. Around the world we go. There's your 360 degree view right over there. Now you can't double tap on these to enlarge them, but you can go ahead and change the view. So this is your fourth view. And again, this is gonna give you just about every camera available. Here's my side camera, which I can double click on if I wanted to enlarge that over there. Here's my rear view camera, which I can also double click on and make that full screen if I wanted to. And now you have four separate cameras for the inside of your car. Again, 360 degrees. So if I want this to show me the road ahead, my dashboard, if I want this one right down here to show me the passenger, there's the passenger. If I want the top one there to maybe show myself as I'm driving, what's up Jabber? I can go ahead and do that. And then maybe the bottom one, I wanna show the rear, rear passengers. That's the camera right over there. So again, this is just something super awesome. And as you saw, you can double click on one of them if you really wanna zoom in and say, hey, what are you guys doing in the back? That's not really cool. You guys should not be doing that. That's something you guys can do. So I think this is something super cool. Now again, you're gonna to wanna to position this just so you get the right view for your passengers in the back. But another section you have is the fifth view. Now this is just gonna give you a split view. And I have the side camera here. And then I also have my rear camera showing. And the last view we have is the sixth, sixth option there. And that's just really gonna enlarge that, that rear view mirror and give you the side cam a little bit smaller. And of course you can double tap on them 
if you want to enlarge them you can see that right over there so again guys you get a lot of different camera options and this is this is my favorite so i can see everything that's going on behind me if i have passengers sitting in the back seat you can see my rear side and then i can also see whatever kind of action i want i can go around the world in 30 seconds or I can just leave it and kind of check out who's sitting next to me if I want to do that. If you do a ride share, if you are driving a taxi, number one thing is you want to make sure no one acts a fool in your car. And this is the best way to do it. 360 degree, you're going to have everything caught on camera. All the voice is going to be caught on camera as well. And if you want to see what you've recorded, you can press that little, little photo option right over there. You can see that was recorded from the, the rear cam. Here's your front cam. So if I want to see what was recorded in the front, just go ahead and press that. And if you took any snapshots, you can also see them as well. So you can do everything from the camera itself. You don't have to take out the SD card if you guys don't want to. If you want to turn off the video feeds manually, just press this button right underneath there and you'll just have a regular mirror. So when you're driving, if you don't want any type of video feed to distract you, you can just do this. And it's a very premium, high quality piece of glass. No issues at day, no issues at night. So again, guys, this is the Ikeo 360 degree camera. When you start up the car, you're gonna get all your video feeds right away. So again, definitely a nice feature. I really like, I like being able to see everything that's going on inside of my cabin. To show you guys the 360 degree video, you do have to use this special application. Now, when you first buy this camera, it will be installed on the, on the SD card that comes with the camera. And it's called Vessi Setup, so you do have to install this onto your computer. But you can still see the files of the side camera, and you can still see the files of your reverse camera just by clicking on the file like you normally would any other, any other type of video file. But I just want to show you the, the side camera and the rear camera that you can just double click without using any type of special software. So here's that side camera. I did a pretty nice parking job right over there. When you open the 360 degree video file, this is what you're gonna see. You can still see some, some relevant information, but you're kind of in your own world. You're kind of in your own bubble. I think this looks really cool, but I just wanna check it out and show you guys what it looks like after you finish installing their software there. So let me open that same file with this, with this program that you're meant to use it with. Here's that same file that I just showed you, and I'm no longer in my own bubble, guys. And with the mouse, just take a look. You can really zoom in and you can scroll all around. So this is the road ahead of me, just to show you that. Leave this view up here so you can see what that front camera looks like. And then maybe this one, I wanna check out the rear passengers. You can see everything that's going on there. And you can do the same for your side camera. I mean, just look how cool this is. I'm definitely bugging out because this looks super, super cool. And as I take a sip of my coffee, Let's just take a look. So super, super awesome, guys. I'm definitely digging this camera. And you have your GPS right on the side that's going to give you your coordinates and whatnot. So you can see that right over there. Here's your little GPS module. You can flip the image around if you guys need to. If you need to flip that image around, you can go ahead and do so. So let me get another, maybe a nighttime shot. Let's do a little nighttime shot right over here. So the same thing, just use your mouse and kind of play around and see what type of view you guys want to get. So let's just take a look. You can do a little little side view camera action. And of course, you can you can really enlarge and zoom in on specific specific video files, specific portions of this file if you want to. So let's just go ahead and look at this file. Just take a look, guys. I mean, this definitely is a really cool camera. Let's take a look at this one here. Super, super awesome. And then if you just want the road ahead, click on that little, click on this icon right there and you can see the road ahead. If you use your scroll wheel, guys, you can scroll in and get close to the subject or you can scroll on out and you can see a view from from a warp perspective if you're on Star Trek, but you can zoom in. Now, just take a look at this video file with you guys for the first time. License plates seem to be a little a little blurry. I mean, the guy stopped right in front of me and that's, that's definitely not super readable in my opinion. 
but inside the cabin is super super clear so again it's it's mostly used for for ride share if you want to make sure people inside your car are actually doing the right thing now speaking of ride share a lot of you are going to do ride share at night so i just want to put in a video file to show you what it looks like at night time and this is what it's going to look like at night in terms of a dash cam though you can see if anything happens if there's an accident or whatnot you will be able to record it but again i think the main focus of this camera is to see what's going on on the inside of your car now it would be nice if they had little little infrared lights to kind of brighten up the cabin here so let's just take a look at that i mean you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and here's a gps with your speed and your location so i'm not going to paint my whole time or my tenure at ESPN that way. Was I happy the way it ended? No, I wasn't happy the way it ended. Things happen in life sometimes. I agree. I, I would have taken the high road. I don't, my thing, I, my first job, you know, was the Cleveland Plain dealer. And I was part-time. They hired me part-time. I still was working about 38 hours a week, but it was right. part-time. You weren't full-time with benefits right. yet. Right, I had no benefits. And the promise was that, you know, you're gonna get, as soon as we do the full-time opening, it's you. That sports editor left. His boy took over. He understood the situation. Too. And here's that side camera. I like to call this the parking camera. So you can see exactly where you park if you got too close to the curb or whatnot. And as you're driving, this is what it's going to look like. Really, it's kind of just to show your blind spot. If anyone's really just creeping up on the side, you can, you can see thanks to this camera. But that's really it when it comes to the Ikeo 360 dash cam, guys. I mean, this is, this is definitely a good camera if you guys are, are doing the ride share thing. And the main important thing for you is to record what's going on inside of your cabin. I mean, you can't really get any cooler than this, especially during the day. You can clearly see everything that's going on there. So again, guys, let me know what you think about the 360 cam down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.